I'm Dan Gray, and that is the brand new 2017 Honda Accord Hybrid. It is one of the most efficient hybrid sedans that you can buy today. I've spent the last few days in it, rolling up hundreds of miles. Boy, oh boy, am I impressed. What do you say we hop in, go for a ride, and I'll show you why this one just might be your dream commuter. The 2017 Honda Accord Hybrid is offered in three trim levels, base, EXL, and Touring. We tested a Touring model in crystal black pearl with an ivory leather interior. Now, when you look at all the competition in hybrid sedans these days, it's a tough class. You've got the Hyundai Sonata Hybrid, the Ford Fusion Hybrid, the Kia Optima Hybrid, the Camry Hybrid. All of a sudden, we have one solid group of contenders. I find it tough to recommend one over the other, but I'm liking this Accord a whole lot. It is smooth, it is quiet, it feels like a luxury car. Now, I said quiet, it's quiet until you have to bring the engine into play. The two liter inline four cylinder engine and electric motor produce a total of 212 horsepower and 232 pound-feet of torque. Powered is delivered via a CVT transmission. There are sport and EV modes. The Accord Hybrid is EPA rated at 49 City 47 Highway. That puts it ahead of all the conventional hybrid sedans with a superb Chevy Malibu Hybrid nipping at its heels. Now the Accord Hybrid is not as efficient as a Toyota Prius, of course, but it's stealthy. There's nothing oddball about its exterior or interior styling. I've put a couple hundred miles on this one so far, and I'm averaging 48.9 for three or four days at this point. That is excellent. If you're in the city, you're gonna see a little bit more. If you're on the highway, you're gonna see a little bit less. But I found that this is absolutely exceptional here on the back roads. When you're on these 45 mile per hour, two lane black tops, it gets really good. My week average is a cumulative of all the driving that I've done. Went into the city with this one on uh, Saturday. Spent a good bit of time crawling around the city. Took it out on the interstate. So that number, right now it's up to 49.1, is indicative of a mixed amount of driving. The ride and handling are just wonderful. This is one of the smoothest Accords I've ever driven. It almost feels like a luxury car. The steering wheel has a really nice shape, smooth leather, full controls. On the left up here, you have your multimedia controls. Below that, you have your Bluetooth. Over here at top on the right, you have your cruise control. And in this car, it's adaptive cruise control. Just below that, you've got the lane key control. And underneath that, the center info screen. The 2017 Accord takes a big step up with regard to infotainment because it is now equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if you have a smartphone, hook it up, and lo and behold, your phone is now on the dashboard. One thing that I'm not too crazy about is this two-level display. So down here, it's a touch screen, and up there, it's controlled via the steering wheel buttons. It's a little confusing at first, but eventually you'll get used to it. They tell me. The USB port is here inside, 12 volt below. You've got more ports inside the center console. The Honda Sensing Safety Technology Package includes forward collision warning, lane departure warning, road departure mitigation, and a collision mitigation braking system. The Accord Hybrid also includes an active lane keep assist system, adaptive cruise control, and Honda Lane Watch, along with a three angle rear view camera system. The perforated leather upholstery is quite nice and the seats are supportive. The driver's seat provides 10 way power adjustment with power lumbar support and two position memory. It's dual zone HVAC and the seat heaters are two level. The back seat provides 37 inches of headroom, 38.5 inches of legroom, and 56.5 inches of shoulder room.
Wow. Wow, there's a lot of room back here. I've got about four fingers of headroom, oodles of leg room. This seat is back to where I'm comfortable at 510. Plenty of room. Nice, squishy center armrest. Two cup holders there. Bottle holders in the doors. Nice literature pockets on the back of both front seats. HVAC on the back of the console. There are vents, but no controls over velocity or temperature. There's also no place to plug in USB or 12 volt. You have to go inside the console for that. Overall, though, it is super comfortable back here. And there is an awesome bonus right here. High, low mm -hmm. seat heating for the outboard seats. The trunk provides 13.5 cubic feet of cargo volume. The back seat does not fold down. A tire inflation system is provided in lieu of a spare tire. The Honda Accord Hybrid faces stiff competition from the Chevy Malibu, Ford Fusion, Hyundai Sonata, and Kia Opto Hybrids, but its 48 mile per gallon combined rating puts it at the head of the pack. This group of worthy mid-size hybrid sedans shows that the United States government's goal of 54.5 miles per gallon fleet average by 2025 is within reach. With gas prices low and sedan sales down overall, this is a great time to buy a hybrid sedan. If you're in the market, take the Accord Hybrid out for a test drive, then drive a competitor back to back to determine which one fits you the best.